This is not medical advice. This is a news update on the coronavirus situation in Thailand and Vietnam. Your decision to travel is your own, but please be informed. Links to travel warnings are in the description. Hello, it's me, Frank, and I've got another coronavirus news update in Southeast Asia, focusing on the situation in Thailand and Vietnam. The current reported infection count in Thailand is at 33, and a cruise ship has uh, just given the country a little bit of grief. Um, I think you may have heard about it, but it's the Westerdam cruise ship was uh, refused entry by Guam, Japan, Philippines, and Thailand. The Thai government refused to let this cruise ship dock in Chonburi, Thailand, uh, over health concerns, after the ship had docked with Hong Kong. So I found this situation a, a little odd, but you know, at the same time, understandable. Uh, I find it strange because Thailand has no restrictions on Chinese tourists. The only limits Thailand has uh, has seen actually from has been from China themselves. Uh, China has stopped uh, several tour buses from leaving China. Now I do find the decision again understandable. Uh, if I were a Thai official and I saw the Philippines, Guam, and Japan saying no to this ship, well then, then I think maybe there's something up with this ship. Uh, in other words, you know, if I'm over here as a, an official and I say, "Hell, oh, wait, look, there's Japan." It's a first world country making what seems to be a rational decision. Um, maybe I should follow suit. And uh, keep this in mind because I'm going to touch on this notion here in a few moments. Now, uh, as far as that cruise ship goes, no one, uh, no one has tested positive for coronavirus, but there was about 20 potential cases on board, and that must have concerned the Thai government. But uh, you may know what happened next. The cruise ship actually docked with Cambodia. Now, Cambodia is a neighboring country to Thailand, and uh, despite some statements from, the, from their governments uh, from Thailand saying that they're going to keep a close eye on the people from the vessel, I, I don't quite understand how that's possible. Uh, maybe, maybe there's better tracking of, uh, of cruise ship goers than I think there is. But in my mind, you know, if there is a problem there, well, it's right next door now. Uh, in somewhat related news, South Korea has issued new travel warnings to its citizens advising against travel uh, which extends beyond just China. It now includes Japan, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, and Taiwan. This comes back to that uh, notion I harked on earlier. So think about it. Uh, if you think the South Korean government is trustworthy and makes uh, decent decisions, then you might want to heed their advice as well. All right, let's talk about Vietnam for a bit. When I first started making coronavirus updates, I mentioned my biggest concern was being in an involuntary lockdown, quarantine, or pa panic type of situation. Well, here in Vietnam, there has been a quarantine. It's uh, one of the largest outside of China, with over 10,000 people to be quarantined for 20 days. Uh, they basically just locked down a region called uh, Son Loi, and it consists of many farming villages. The area is about 40 kilometers northwest of Hanoi, so it's, uh, it's in the north near China. The decision to quarantine came after six cases were discovered in the area, uh, this raising the total case count of coronavirus in Vietnam to 16. Well, that sums up the novel coronavirus updates for Southeast Asia. It's definitely not the best time to take a vacation, but uh, again, hey, your choice is your own. Thank you for listening, and be sure to wash your hands.